The sun has been wreaking havoc on HF radio uh, this past week or so. Uh, if you're a ham radio operator, you know it's been frustrating. I wanted to um, put together a really quick video, show a couple resources that I always check just before I go out portable to find out if I should even go, if it's worth my time. And I, I think they're really good and I want to share them with you. Stick around. times have you gone out portable and the band conditions were just horrible i know i've done it we all have and a lot of us will check the qrz page and you can look at what's going on there on qrz and uh even that i mean that's good for boulder colorado because i believe that's where uh the that's actually taken from uh the NOAA site there um so there's a couple sites online sites and resources that i use that i've found to be really good and uh and they i know there are a lot of them out there you may have a favorite these are my two favorite things uh, as far as online to check band conditions and uh and they work great for me the first one is checking the maximum usable frequency or the muff there's a really great site for that that i check i mean daily uh, all the time it's my go-to i got it right on my phone look right at it all the time uh that website is uh PROPPROP.KC2G.com. And it's a really cool map showing the maximum usable frequency around the world. What KC2G has done, along with NOAA and some others, is put together information from ionosons all over the world and put together a map showing what the maximum usable frequency is around the world. I like that. And so, what I like to do. Many times I get up really early in the morning. I'm a, a early bird before before the sun comes up. I'll, I'll open this up, take a look at it, and then zoom on over and check out where I'm at here on the east coast of the United States. And if I see, you know, a 16 or a 17 or anything above 14 megahertz, I know the 20 meter band was uh, probably open, been open all night, and it's a really good time to work DX towards the Pacific for me. So that's one of my resources. I kind of highly recommend before you go out before you operate or whatever, take a good look at that, especially if you're, you know, the type of person you want to, and also if you want to know if the 10 meter band's open, because this is a good way to find out right away. I know a lot of people go, all you got to do is call CQ or listen to 11 meters. This is a true scientific proof. If you see a 29 or a 30 or more there, you know the 10 meter band is open for sure. Now, when it comes to band conditions and our wonderful sun and radio blackouts and everything that happens there, there's another site that I really love, and I check this out all the time too, and that's SolarHam. SolarHam.com, it's a great resource. I check it out. The cool thing about SolarHam.com is uh, you go in there right away, you can look at the current uh, geomagnetic field conditions, and this is for all of Earth. Uh, you can also look at, uh, there's excellent uh, three-day geomagnetic forecast. And, uh, and then you click from there, there is a really a great detailed forecast for days coming up. So you don't have to be an expert on, on, on solar weather. I know it can be daunting with all the uh, the, the indexes and, and, and everything. It just makes it really easy. It's just a, you know, a green, a yellow, or a red. So when I look at like the, uh, the forecast coming up, if I say, see a G0, I know it might as well be go. I mean, it's go do it. I mean, things are there and, and, and conditions are going to be pretty decent. Now, you know, things can happen out of nowhere and, and any, it's always just a forecast, but um, I like that. And, and I, I check that out and use that frequency. So that's the two sites I check all the time before I do anything portable is the muff map and then the solar ham to, to, to look at our solar conditions. Cool thing about solar ham too, you can also take a look and what's going on now, the current state of our uh, our solar cycle, we're in uh, 25. You can take a look at that. It has historic uh, readings up to uh, the, the month before. And you can see kind of where we're going and what the future may look like and what the past look like. But um, that's pretty much it. Just wanted to give you these two sites and tell you this is what I do. These are my go-tos. Before I operate portable, these are what I check out. When people are all, I see stuff online and people are going, are the bands open or they're not? It's real easy. Check it yourself do this. These two sites and these two resources to me are just so wonderful and valuable. I know there's other stuff out there. If there's stuff that you like, put it in the comments. I'd be interested. You may have a, a better resource or a better way of, of checking. I'm always open to look at that as well and uh, kind of see what other people look at and what other people do. And like I said, the reason I kind of like the ones I am, you don't have to be an expert on solar weather to kind of understand 
uh, what, what it is on Solar Ham to see what things are like and what conditions are like. Anyway, if you like operating portable, if you like uh, you know, ham radio HF, please like and subscribe. Until next time, I'm Walt K4OGO73, my friends.